Hey guys, this is Hafiz and today I'm going to share uh, some experience with you guys. I'm at the warehouse to pick up a frozen load and uh, I have my reefer on for almost uh, two hours. And the uh, reefer is not dropping temperature so the warehouse guy he came out and uh, he noticed the temperature for like uh, uh, it was at the 59 because of the the weather outside it's like a 102 or 4 temperature on that and uh, I told him due to the weather it might gonna take a little bit longer so he came after like an hour and my temperature is around like 50 something so 51 54 so I'm just gonna share with you guys like uh, in this situation what could be the problem and how can we drop the temperature really fast so this is the first time I'm going to try this and uh, I'm not a mechanic I'm just uh, a random truck driver and uh, you have to do your own due diligence before you try this and uh, like I said uh, most of the time the the problem with the reefer is uh, because of the service and uh, and when we don't do the service on time and we don't look at the uh, the filters and uh, also we don't check over free on level that could be the problem and sometimes the there is a minor leak in the compressor or some other line and that could be the reason that uh, the free on level goes down and it don't uh, drop the temperature that fast or it could be like with the time it can go down uh, for so many reasons if you let the reefer sit for like certain time period the the freon can uh, leak out from the seals so it could be so many reasons and uh, as of right now we just have to find out the solution so we can get loaded I called the mechanic around and uh, he told me they don't have a time and I have to uh, wait so uh, in past I have the similar problem so a mechanic he came over and he was one of my friend he helped me out with the with this problem so since then I know what to do but I don't know what to do I'm just gonna try it for the first time uh, with you guys so you can buy a free on 404 a uh, tank which can cost you a hundred and forty dollars and people they can charge you way more than that so it could be up to $300, but most of the time uh, it's around like $150 for 24 pound um, free on. But you need a license to buy that uh, free on. So if you have that tank, you can easily resolve this problem and uh, get to the shop or you can buy, borrow some extra time, get loaded, and it can save you a lot of money. If you don't have to, you, have a, you already have a load and uh, you don't want to take a risk on that and uh, uh, so many reasons and you can save a lot of money that way so I'm just gonna show you that uh, what I have and what we're gonna do now I have to wait for a long time to uh, drop this uh, temperature down to uh, 28 so I'm just gonna check uh, because I had a code it says the check uh, free on uh, level so I'm just gonna look at that and see if uh, my free on is low and because of that it's not dropping temperature so quick so I'm just gonna open the reefer doors and check that once you open the reefer door look at the dryer and uh, look at that uh, metal ball if it's floating that means you are good if it's not that means you are uh, low on free on so you can also look at a uh, compressor uh, the free on level is low so I think uh, we need a free on all right so this is the free on 404a and it's non flammable gas you can put in your truck I had that in my truck from last uh, five to six months uh, I have like a half of uh, tank and I paid uh, hundred and forty five dollars for this uh, for 24 pounds so I think it's good for uh, uh, two to three empty reefers if I'm not wrong so uh, you can buy this from any hardware store or from uh, 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 car 
Carrier, uh, Fleet Pride, Napa, they have it, but you need a special license, like at least uh, uh, the license that you can work on the reefers or... This is for educational purpose only, and please uh, do some research before you do anything I say. Thank you. Uh, for any refrigerated uh, uh, unit, so if you have that, you can buy that, and I just uh, had this uh, hose. You just need a, a hose with a uh, uh, with a with a valve in the middle, so you can open and close it yourself. So as long as you have it, even if you don't have that, you just have a straight uh, hose. You can open it from here. So you make sure you open it very slow, and you filling up the freon. So I'm just gonna show you how we do it. all right so right on top of the compressor as you can see that uh, point where we can refill the freon it says d e e1 and uh, i'm going to open that and uh, connect my freon uh, lines and refill that from there it's a very simple procedure but you have to make sure that you don't uh, make it too tight just have it hand tied and uh, once you open the freon just uh, close it again and then uh, release some air from the valve uh, from the air I mean from the line that uh, we are just connecting so that way uh, we don't have any air going through the compressor the most important thing is that uh, you have to set the temperature at cool and your reefer need to be on when you're trying to refill the Freon. You cannot do that when your reefer is off. So I just uh, made it uh, hand tight and then I'm going to release some Freon and then close it and I am going to open that line again so I can uh, uh, release some air from there and open that up again. I'm, I'm trying to be very careful because this is my first time and uh, I don't want to mess up anything. I don't want to open it all the way and blow up uh, compressor seals or mess up the system. So that's why I'm trying to do it very slow and uh, a tiny little bit uh, free on and I'm looking at the, the ball as soon as it start floating I'm just going to stop till I see any difference in the uh, the temperature so I'm not gonna keep uh, uh, keep uh, adding a uh, free on as you can see I am not using any kind of tools and I'm just uh, uh, using this hose and uh, just uh, opening and closing it so there's no tools required to fix your air condition all right so I'm looking at the temperature is 43 degrees right now is dropping uh, uh, very quick and uh, I just stopped my Freon from the valve and I want to look at the temperature and make sure uh, if it's working or not uh, and I don't want to keep adding uh, the Freon because uh, I don't have a gauges to measure that so as you can see the temperature is dropping uh, faster than before so I'm just gonna wait a little bit and look at the the metal ball again and uh, see if it's it stop floating I will add up a, a little bit more Freon into that so so far looks so good and I hope it will uh, work for me So after a couple minutes, I'm back and I'm looking at the, the metal ball, it was not floating. So I am just going to add up a little bit more Freon. So I'm just going to uh, wait for another uh, minute and uh, release some uh, Freon to the system. And all you have to do is just uh, open the valve and uh, look at the ball. And if you keep looking at it, uh, it should be floating. 
with the temperature drop uh, from 50 all the way to 36 right now and it's still constantly going down so I'm not adding any more fuel on the reason is I saw the ball floating a little bit so I just stopped and uh, I want to see if it's still helping to drop the temperature or do I need to add more so I'm just gonna give a little bit and uh, observe the temperature it's been like uh, five to ten minutes and uh, as you can see the temperature is going fast uh, going down really fast so I'm pretty sure it should be uh, it should be enough for the uh, for the reefer to stay at the temperature all right so this is the temperature inside the truck that I can see uh, the outside temperature is 107 but it's around like a hundred degrees and uh, because of that I think the reefer was giving a problem to drop the temperature but it was also a freon issue as uh, you can see the uh, the reefer freon was low and that's why it was not dropping temperature as soon as we add in uh, some uh, freon in there the temperature start uh, dropping so I'm just gonna wait for like another 10 minutes and I'll let you know so I have the time 2 o'clock and I'm just gonna wait for like another 10 minutes and uh, see where the temperature is. Right, so after 10 minutes, almost 12 minutes right now, so I'm gonna go check uh, the temperature, see if it's still dropping. And uh, uh, do I need to add uh, some more Freon or we are good? Let me see how far we go. All right, so as you can see the temperature, we are sitting around uh, 30 degrees right now. And the temperature is still dropping. Uh, it's around like 30.6. So it's still going down. So in 10 minutes we drop a good uh, amount of temperature. And uh, uh, we're gonna wait another 15, 20 minutes and see uh, where we at. Alright, so the warehouse guy, he just gave me the door as soon as he saw the temperature hit below 20. So he just gave me the door, so I'm going to back in and uh, get loaded. And I uh, will update you guys. Once I'm loaded, it's gonna, the product is going to help uh, the reefer to go down really fast. So it's only like, uh, I'm going to show you the time. It's almost an hour and I'm uh, below fr uh, freezing temperature. Uh, it dropped like good 20 degrees since I put the free on. Uh, it's like 30 degrees because it was like around like 54, 55. So in one hour I'm down to 19. So it's going down really fast. While I'm backing into the door my temperature is almost 18 degrees. And that happened within one hour. As soon as you open the door the temperature is double. So it's 32 right now as soon as you open the door so because the do door we open it outside and uh, that's so stupid like why they make us wait so long when uh, the temperature is gonna go up anyway but that's the fact you know they're gonna do that anyway so all right so as soon as I got loaded I closed my doors and you can see my temperature is below minus 9 right now and uh, I'm going to check the temperature again within an hour to see if there's any difference. Minus 8 degrees. Alright guys, please uh, like, subscribe and share this video if it helped anyone. Thank you. Alright, so I'm at the delivery and uh, everything looks good. The fog so cold. So I'm just gonna clear the load and I have no issues. The problem was the freon, so we're good.